Our next news story is what we call Demise of Dumb. Headlines in tech publications say it all. A new generation of AI-powered robots is taking over warehouses. And robots with AI smarts soon at a factory near you. All these headlines are getting very common. All of them answering the question, why make industrial robots smart? A new generation of robots is on the rise. And their calling card reads, smart. No one wants to buy a lemon, and no factory sets out to manufacture lemons. They happen. And every one is a less for it, whether it's a Boeing 737 MAX 8 or a toothbrush without bristles. When a product is either or both dangerous or useless because of production errors, it destroys customer confidence, corporate reputations, and profits. The manufacturing miscues that produce the offending products happen way too often, More often than not, such product fails are caused by human error or a dumb robot. All too frequently, an entire production line can crash, curtailing any and all manufacturing. Again, human error or a dumb robot is most likely the culprit. According to Mark Homer, a VP of Global Customer Transformation for ServiceMax, it's perhaps not surprising that the manufacturing sector has higher levels of human error given the breadth of machinery and equipment that requires maintenance and intervention by service engineers and technicians. Turns out that 82% of companies have experienced a production snafu at least twice over the past three years. And when it comes to the production line outages for these companies, the results are devastating and last on average four hours. Back in 2014, Aberdeen Research estimated the cost of unplanned downtime across all businesses to be $164,000 an hour a figure that has skyrocketed by 60% to 260000 an hour, according to a report from Vanson Bourne. And the larger the company, like an auto plant, the more expensive things can get in a hurry. And if it's a significant enough defect to cause harm to a consumer, then all bets are off. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission reports that defective products annually cost over $1 trillion. Dumb humans in the manufacturing loop causing defects are easy to fix. They get jettisoned. Dumb robots, on the other hand, are very expensive, such that companies will spend even more for a downtime guardian to watch over their robots rather than getting rid of them. Dumb robots need to be closely supervised by human QC teams to ensure that what's going in and out of a CNC machine, for example, is eyeballed for quality. And downtime guardians need to be on the job 24-7 so as to alert yet another human when a dumb robot is about to mechanically fail. Since most every robot is dumb, junking them all together isn't really a viable solution. When it comes to product defects, a Harvard Business Review piece summed it up nicely. Somebody makes defects and gets paid for making them. If a substantial portion of the workforce corrects defects, then the company is paying to correct defects as well as to make them. If a factory is producing 15% defective products, then 15% of the total cost is spent making bad units. Obviously, low quality means high cost. However, if a dumb robot can somehow be made to be smart, then that flips the equation. Manufacturing gains an upper hand by increasing productivity, reducing errors, and improving quality. Smart robots can make possible the smart factory, and the smart factory makes possible manufacturing gains heretofore unattainable. And that's exactly the game afoot in the robot biz. Robots are getting outfitted with tech gear that's beginning to awaken them from their cognitive slumber. They are being made to be aware of their workplace, surroundings, and to work that they are performing. A new type of robot, the smart robot, is quickening into reality. Robots, especially cobots and mobile machines, are getting interconnected with multiple sensors and onboard compute power all imbued with artificial intelligence, machine learning, data analytics, and cloud computing. All of this newfound real-time data, AI, and device interconnectivity constantly and continuously communicate so that the data stream can be gathered together, sifted, and analyzed. It's the key to zero defects and zero downtime, as in zero lemons and zero lemon making. Information such as cycle times and output rates and maintenance issues uploaded to monitoring systems will optimize machines and allow for preventive maintenance, 
long before a glitch can topple an entire production line. Chris Blanchett, executive director for Global Accounts at Fanuc America, says this is about smart robots. Demand for robots to have those features is becoming a requirement, not an option. A lot of companies realize that gathering real-time process-related data can help improve manufacturing efficiencies and product quality. They can learn how their process is currently working and where they can make improvements. Blanchett projects a five-year window for smart robot connectivity to take hold across all industries. It's hard to gain any value if machines are not somehow connected and gathering data, which is typically collected from various sensors embedded in controllers, robot arms, and grippers. So keep an eye out for the coming of smart at a warehouse or factory near you. It's going to happen sooner than later.